Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday about dev career, not that much about Laravel, but this time let's talk about Laravel but in a more broader sense. This week I made a poll on Twitter just asking Livewire or Inertia, because I see that this topic gets quite a lot of debate and quite a lot of people on both sides of the fence. And as poll results showed, it's actually true. Almost identical amount of votes for Livewire and Inertia, and also quite a lot of people vote for both, and it depends. So what does it say to you? In that example, I wanted to show globally that there is no one way, there is no best practice, there is no one framework or tool that everyone would use. Even Laravel itself. People use some internal stuff in Laravel in various different ways. Some people prefer form requests for validation, some people prefer to validate in the controller, some others have some custom stuff for validation. So similar with framework tools like Livewire or Inertia. If you ask a question, should I learn Livewire or Inertia, the choice is yours. Both have their usage, good quality, standard practices, and already popularity in the community with articles, tutorials, and quite a lot of them are on my channel. And I'm actually shooting a new online course about inertia, should be released in a few weeks. And speaking about my journey here as a tutorial author and creator, I've chosen Livewire in 2021 to shoot a course about that, but I wasn't really chasing the hype. So there are a lot of trends and hypes like NFTs, Web3 and stuff like that. And I already see tweets and messages like, please create content about NFTs and in Laravel, how can we use it and stuff like that. No, I'm not following the hype. So I've chosen to create content about Livewire with a course with Livewire Kit only after a year or so since Livewire was released or even more at this point when I knew that it's popular enough, that it gained traction, that there are people actually using that a lot, there are best practices, tutorials, and stuff like that. So it stood the test of time and grow in popularity. Similar with inertia. Now I feel that inertia is popular enough, so it's worth creating content around that, tools around that, and more tutorials. But those two serve kind of different audience. Livewire is mostly for backend developers who don't want to learn Vue.js. And Vue Inertia is for full stack or Vue.js developers who don't want to create APIs separately, don't want to use Vue Router and save time on some other glue stuff of Laravel and Vue.js. So with that example, with the poll example, I wanted to deliver a global message like if you want to choose what to learn, probably you should read about both technologies and then you choose. You need to understand the core concept of Livewire and Inertia and how do they work and what are they at all. So spend 30 minutes or one hour reading the docs, at least the main parts and similar simple examples, and then you decide what's best for you or it may be a decision of your company or your freelance clients. So choose whatever is appropriate for your future and for your current needs. That's why I think it's pointless to ask, should I use or learn X or Y? Because the choice is personally yours, depending on your situation, and you need to understand both choices, pros and cons, and then decide. But if you want to argue Livewire versus Inertia, feel free to do that in the comments. Let's discuss your priorities, especially from those of you who have tried both and released actual projects on both Livewire and Inertia. And which one did you prefer for what kind of situation? Share in the comments below. And see you guys in other videos.